Hi, my name is Julie Richards and I'm going to talk to you today about my strategic goal of reducing healthcare associated infections here at Children's Mercy Hospital Kansas City. Children's Mercy Hospital Kansas City is based in Kansas City, of course, and it's a leader in the pediatric industry. That means nationwide, other hospitals look to Kansas City Children's Mercy to see how we're doing things better so they can mimic us. My strategic goal is by the end of December 2018 to have a reduction of 15% of healthcare associated infections. Um, I will go through the strategic goal and how we're going to do that and how I will need stakeholder support and communication in order to get, meet this goal. As an infection prevention and control preventionist, that's what I do, um, it is my job to make sure that I am looking at healthcare associated infections and also I am mandatorily have to report those to certain regulatory agencies. Also as my job, I have to educate and bring evidence-based practice forward to the staff and to physicians and to the whole organization on what's the best way to prevent healthcare associated infections. Also, I collect and analyze data to see if it meets criteria for a hospital-acquired infection, and once again, report these out to stakeholders, the board of directors, and also the health departments and mandatory agencies. There are stakeholder benefits for, to meeting the strategic goal. Of course, the patients, the community, and families will benefit. If you don't get a healthcare-associated infection, that means that you came here. We helped you. You healed and you left, hopefully healthy and happier than when you came. So we want to make sure that there is always safe patient care. Also, regulatory agencies we have to report to can also benefit. Um, we report to the CDC. It's a branch called the NHSN. And also, um, there's the Center for Medicaid and Medicare. And since we are a pediatric facility, we do get dollars from Medicaid. And if we have a lot of hospital-acquired infections, we do not get the maximum reimbursement that we expect when we take care of our patients. So the board of directors are also stakeholders in this because there will be a financial hit if we have too many HEIs in our hospital. Also, um, there's alliance partners throughout the organization and also throughout the country that we do collaborations with to make sure that we're providing the best patient safe care. Also, physicians. Of course, they want their patients to heal and get better, and their report card needs to be good for their patients. The mission and vision of um, Children's Mercy Kansas City is basically to provide the best patient care that possible. They want their patients to have a good outcome when they come here. Most importantly, they want them to be safe. If a child comes in here and gets a healthcare associated infection, that means they weren't safe while they were here, and that's a bad patient outcome. Along with that, the CMH mission and vision also goes along with my strategic goal because my strategic goal is about providing safe patient care. So once again, it's looking at reducing healthcare associated infections. Also, we are a leader in the industry, so we have a certain benchmark to meet. In our HAIs, we are below benchmark in some of those and high in others. We want to be a leader in the industry, and we want people to look toward us. Research and development is also done here at Children's Mercy, and it will continue to go do that. And, um, I'm sorry, collaboration with other pediatric industries. Key indicators in infection prevention and control. Basic hand hygiene is the top one. We need to make sure that we're cleaning our hands effectively and that we are not carrying microorganisms for our hands onto surfaces or to other patients. Also, proper use of personal protection equipment. If I need a mask, a gown, or if I need gloves, I need to do whatever it takes to protect myself from transform, transferring an organism from the patient to myself or to a surface or to another patient. So that's another infection prevention and control strategy. Also cleaning on the environment. We need to make sure we're cleaning all horizontal surfaces, bed rails, call lights, nursing equipment, stethoscopes, whatever we can in order to reduce micro burden on those organ on those instruments, excuse me. Also, adherence to evidence-based bundles. Um, all healthcare associated infections have a bundle in order to adhere to to decrease that HAI from happening. These are evidence-based, and if we adhere to the bundles, we decrease the risk of having an HAI. Also, my job as an infection preventionist is monitoring of HAIs in the organization. I report these out, once again, to the board of directors organization-wide, also to units, to directors, to managers, so they'll know what their rates are and where they need to improve. 
required resources to meet my strategic goal, mandatory education and, ser and, and services to all patients, I'm sorry, to all patient care staff, stakeholder buying and involvement, they can help me communicate this out. Um, it needs to be an umbrella organizational-wide initiative, so I need their help to push that. And research and development is a corporate-wide strategy that I'm also going to need help with in order to make sure that we're doing what evidence base says to do. Department-specific. Um, in my department, we have a very old data mining system. We need to upgrade that to make sure that we're catching all the HAIs and nothing slipping between the cracks. Real-time surveillance. I need to be... Um, more up to date on the microbiologies that are coming in so I can catch things quicker and I can report to units in a timely manner. Um, also continued education for infection preventionists like myself, sending us to seminars, conferences to make sure we're staying up on our certifications. Purpose-directed communication is a strategy. Everyone needs to be on board. We need to have the purpose of meeting this goal. Open communication and feedback, making sure that everyone can talk and be open and nothing is punitive. And also education, evaluation, making sure I'm listening, evaluating the goal as long as we go along. How this will happen, where are we now? I have data to show our HAI rates and where that is. What can we do to decrease it? Surveillance and education, once again, looking out to our other partners and what they're doing. That would help us with how they've been successful. And corporate-wide accountability, making sure that everyone's on the same page and we are doing what it takes to do what's best for our patients. Through evaluation and audits, I will be on the floors, I'll be talking to nurses, we will be um, looking at central line dressing changes, we'll be looking at surgical sites, um, we will be looking at ventilators to make sure that we're doing best practice. Evaluation through data analysis, benchmarking, event reporting, feedback, surveillance, and patient outcomes. All these ways will tell us if we are working toward our goal of reducing HAIs so that our patients will have a safer environment and heal quicker and it'll be the best outcome for them. Thank you.